A bombshell has just been dropped, revealing a scandal involving none other than FIA President Mohammed Ben Sulayem. Hold on to your seats as we uncover shocking details of how he allegedly meddled with a time penalty for Fernando Alonso during the Saudi Arabia Grand Prix a year ago. The intrigue is at its peak as an internal investigation unfolds. Today, let's dive into this video to unravel the truth behind this unfolding FIA scandal, putting Ben Sulayem in big trouble. FIA President Mohammed Ben Sulayem is being investigated for allegedly meddling with the outcome of a Formula One race, reports the BBC. The investigation stems from a report by the Motorsport Governing Body's Compliance Officer, Paolo Bazzari, to the Ethics Committee. It's claimed that Ben Sulayem intervened to overturn a 10-second penalty given to Aston Martin's Fernando Alonso at the 2023 Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. During the race in Jeddah, Alonso was penalized five seconds. While serving the penalty, a jack touched the Aston Martin, prompting stewards to rule that the penalty wasn't served correctly. As a result, Alonso was handed another penalty, which cost him a podium finish. However, George Russell, who crossed the line in third place, appealed the decision. The appeal was successful, and Alonso was reinstated to third position. FIA received tip-off from Whistleblower. A whistleblower has spoken out to the FIA, saying the penalty reversal happened because the FIA president got involved, reports the BBC. The whistleblower claims they were instructed on behalf of the FIA president not to approve the street track before the inaugural Las Vegas Grand Prix last November. This event was significant for F1 as it marked the first time the race was promoted directly. The FIA's compliance officer has submitted a report on this matter to its ethics committee, as reported by the BBC. Mohammed Ben Sulayem has been FIA president since late 2021, but his tenure has faced criticism. He initiated bidding for new entrants into the sport, going against the wishes of F1 teams. Although Andretti Cadillac received an FIA license, F1 postponed their entry for now. There was a delay in inspecting the circuit due to ongoing local organizer construction works. Following this, the whistleblower claims they were directed by their manager, under Ben Sulayem's instruction, to identify issues with the venue to prevent it from being declared safe. However, no safety concerns were found during the inspection. The situation is under scrutiny, with the FIA's Ethics Committee tasked with assessing the matter. The accusation against Ben Salayam seems contradictory to his statements claiming support for the homologation of the new track and emphasizing a stronger relationship between the FIA and FOM under his presidency. In an exclusive interview with GP Racing magazine, Ben Salayam addressed the need for agreement between the FIA and FOM stating, FOM has its points, but today since I took over the presidency, we're in a much better position together. Reflecting on the Las Vegas Grand Prix where he signed the homologation for the new track, Ben Sulayem explained, I could have said no because it wasn't ready in time for inspection, but as soon as my team said it was safe, because I'm a driver, I care about the well-being of the drivers and the people around them, our staff and the marshals, I did it. He added, if I had said no, it would have been disastrous for F1, but it would have been legal, but I'm careful because I love the sport. At the end of the day, we're in the same boat. We may have different missions, but we're in the same boat. We cannot let the sport sink. Ben Sulayem faces accusations from the same whistleblower regarding his alleged efforts to overturn a penalty that initially affected Fernando Alonso's 2023 Saudi Arabian GP ranking. Additionally, new allegations have emerged concerning the Las Vegas Grand Prix circuit. Reports suggest that Ben Sulayem instructed officials to withhold certification for the circuit's debut race, urging them to find faults regardless of their validity. The FIA has confirmed that its compliance officer is investigating the matter, stressing the importance of following due process. However, they expressed regret over the premature disclosure of information to the media and clarified that some reports are inaccurate. While specific details of the allegations or confirmation of an ongoing compliance investigation into Ben Salayim have not been provided, the situation has raised concerns within the sport's governing body. BBC Sport uncovered that other officials present have a different recollection of events from the whistleblower's account. 
It remains unclear why Ben Sulayem would want FIA officials to refuse certification for the Las Vegas track. The race was a significant event for F1, with commercial rights holders Liberty Media investing over £500 to promote the sport globally. Against the backdrop of the Las Vegas race, which marked the penultimate event of the previous season, tensions simmered between Liberty Media and the FIA for two years. During this period, Ben Suliam repeatedly sought to secure more funding from F1 for the FIA. Under the existing contract, the commercial rights holder pays the FIA around $40 million annually for its regulatory role in overseeing F1. In response to queries from motorsport.com, the FIA confirmed that its compliance officer had received a report outlining potential allegations involving certain members of its governing bodies. The compliance department is reviewing these concerns, adhering to standard procedures to ensure strict due process adherence. The FIA expressed disappointment over the premature disclosure of the matter to the media without prior authorization. They also noted inaccuracies in certain aspects of the reported information. What happened to disrupt practice in Vegas? Early during the first practice session, Carlos Sainz's Ferrari collided with a dislodged drain on the Las Vegas Strip, causing severe damage to the car's chassis. As a result, the session had to be cancelled and the start of the second session was delayed. Spectators were asked to leave and the second session commenced two and a half hours behind schedule, concluding at 040 task. The issue stemmed from a cracked underground frame beneath the drain cover, likely caused by the impact of cars or Sainz's Ferrari hitting it. Although the cover's bolts were intact, the problem wouldn't have been detected during inspections before practice began. After each Grand Prix, the FIA issues a report to address any encountered issues. Controversies surrounding Ben Sulayam, FIA president since December 2021, intensified when he intervened in a dispute involving Red Bull's Christian Horner. Despite an internal inquiry clearing Horner, Sulayem reportedly pressured Max Verstappen to support him, sparking tension publicly. Sulayem's involvement in launching a compliance inquiry into Mercedes Toto and Susie Wolf also faced backlash and legal threats. What do F1 drivers say about this scandal? During the 2023 Jeddah race, there was a situation involving George Russell, who temporarily moved up to third place due to a penalty given to Fernando Alonso from Aston Martin. This penalty was because Alonso's team touched his car during a pit stop. However, this penalty was later overturned after a re-examination of the incident. Russell was questioned about this matter in the pre-event press conference for the 2024 Saudi race. Russell a director of the Grand Prix Drivers Association, expressed the need for complete transparency in such situations, stating, We want to see all of the facts and just have total transparency. We're all racing here. We all want a fair and level playing field to showcase what we can do. I can't comment further. He further mentioned his team's surprise regarding the previous year's incident, saying, We just want to see transparency and have that opportunity to race on a fair playing field. Alonso commented initially on the reports, hinting that the discussion might be influenced by Red Bull's current dominance in Formula One. Alonso remarked on the current state of Formula One, saying, There is too much talk off track because on track activities are not very exciting at the moment. There is one car winning for the last 72 Grand Prix, more or less dominating three years. So when this happens in a sport, there is always a lot of activity off track. He mentioned that the focus should be on the ongoing FIA investigation, stating, It's more an FIA investigation that we have to respect and see the outcome. We are happy with all the evidence and proof we showed last year, so it was quite a clear resolution. So let's see what the FIA says in their investigation, but it's not up to Aston Martin. Lando Norris from McLaren expressed his stance on the allegations surrounding the FIA president, saying, You never want that sort of thing to happen at any point. He initially emphasized that Formula One shouldn't be disrupted by off-track issues, particularly referring to the attention of Red Bull's team principal Christian Horner. He further commented, The FIA ethics case is a bigger topic. Again, it's not something that directly involves me. I'm sure there are investigations going on and all of that, and I don't know everything about it. 
If it does come up and the drivers are more involved, then absolutely will comment, but of course it wasn't something that we knew about either, and I don't know all the facts about it, so it's not something I can speak about, but you never want that sort of thing to happen at any point because of preference or whatever it is from any side. So yeah, as long as that gets resolved, all looks good. <coughs> That's all with this video. What do you think of Ben Sulayem's F1 scandal? Comment below and subscribe for more.